been a while since I made my top picks for battery chargers, so I thought I would make a new one. Quite a few changes with this, so let's get into it. If you're looking for a small, compact and very simple lithium-ion battery charger, the Nightcore UI1 and UI2 are quite a good choice. Both of these chargers will accept longer 20 and 21700 batteries, the protected types. Very simple to use with the three-stage LED indicator. It also has the battery activation. There's not too many drawbacks, although the charging speed isn't that fast. If you're looking for something a bit more advanced and supporting lithium ion and nickel metal hydride batteries, the Zanflare C2 is a nice offering. You have a choice of three charging currents. You have a very easy to use display and it has a power bank function, which can be quite useful. Downside with this one, can't charge the protected 21700 batteries and it won't take the C or D cells. If you're looking for a fast charger which can accept different types of lithium ion batteries in terms of the voltage, the UM series from Nightcore is a good choice. Though it's a slightly larger charger, it does take the bigger protected 21700 batteries without a problem. They do accept quick charge as well for faster charging. It's a useful charger because it can accept the lithium ion phosphate batteries. It can be a bit fiddly with the smaller batteries, particularly the triple A's and the internal resistance, I didn't find the measurements accurate on that. If you charge a lot of protected 21700 batteries, I think this is the one to go for. If you're looking for a mains power charger that's also a fast charger, the Nightcore SC4, this charger grew on me over time. In most ways, this is an update to the Nightcore D4. That battery charger was quite popular, but it wasn't particularly quick. You can fit three 26650 cells in this, so it's a good choice for that if you use that battery often. One of the nice things that I liked about this charger was the high resolution display. It's a much nicer display than many battery chargers, very clear and easy to read. You do have a USB output and it can count the charge that has gone into the battery. You can get six amps in total across all four slots. There's two drawbacks with this charger. The 20 or 21700 batteries, the flat top ones are a tight fit. Because of the price, I think it should have had a discharge capacity test. If you're looking to charge more than four batteries, I'm still using the Nightcore IA and I find it a perfectly respectable charger. I like the compact desktop friendly design. It takes up a lot less space than most battery chargers. It's also fully automatic and it can detect the battery size with contact points on the slot, so it will know if it has a larger or smaller cell in there. It's a very useful charger if you need to charge quite a few cells, different sizes at the same time. It's also a decent choice for the 26650 batteries. A couple of drawbacks, you only have the basic red and green battery charge indicators. Never really know how much time you have left to charge a battery. Some of the unprotected 21700 batteries can be a bit on the tight side, but most of the ones I've tried do fit. If you're looking for a USB powered one, really there aren't too many options. The XSTAR VC8 is one of those. There's certainly some useful features on this charger, but they do have some drawbacks as well. I do like the fact it has a Type-C charging port and you can fit eight 21700 batteries in this and there's no problems with the protected cells either. Display is quite clear and you also have an option to change the charging current. This charger can test the capacity on batteries, but it is limited to four slots. You can only control the charging level on four bays at a time, so you don't have individual charging currents. If you're using more than four batteries, you really do need to use the quick charge to get decent charging speeds out of this. It could be an option for you, depending on the type of batteries that you're charging. If you're looking for a more affordable tester or analyzer, really the Opus is still a very good choice. I have used this charger for quite a long time now. It has most of the features that you're gonna want with a battery charger and tester. And you can also get pretty good charging speeds up to two amps out of this with an option of seven charging currents. You can also test internal resistance, the capacity, and it has a discharge and a refresh mode. 
Easy to use charger with a decent display. Couple of drawbacks, you do have that built-in fan. The lithium ion battery voltage switch is inside the case, which doesn't really make much sense. You can't use the protected 21700 batteries and it doesn't have battery activation. If those points aren't a big issue for you, it's one of the best chargers in this group. My pick for the premium tester is the Sky RC MC3000. This is a very advanced battery charger. It has many features. I would encourage you to watch the video that I made on this charger. There's so many features, it's almost impossible to list them all, but there's an extensive range of customization with this charger. Solid casing on this, and there is some fan assisted cooling. It would have been nice to have had an updated LCD display, but the dot matrix does do the job. You can even set it to terminate charging at different voltages. It's a lot easier to control this using the app via Bluetooth. You can connect this to a PC, but I personally found the app to be a much better solution. There are a few possible drawbacks with this. Most of the 20 or 21700 protected cells are too long to fit into this. It's not a particularly easy charger to operate on the unit itself, so I would recommend you use the app. And of course it is a premium price, so that is worth thinking about. I'll talk briefly about the Xstar Dragon VP4 and the VP4L because this has had a minor update. This is a well-made charger and it's a very simple charger to use and I found it to be quite accurate in terms of the capacity testing. Very nice display, very clear and easy to see. You also have the LED charge indicator lights. Always found the termination to be good on this and you do have a USB output if you need to charge a phone or other device. It has an internal memory so it can record those test results for the capacity. You have the probes for testing the voltage and internal resistance on the batteries. The VP4L is basically the same charger but they have made the slots longer. So you can now charge the protected 20 and 21700 batteries. In some respects it's maybe a bit too simplified. I still find it a bit annoying that you can't control the individual channels with the charging current. That's something I would expect for a premium charger. Not too many choices here for 9 volt batteries, but if you're looking for one, I would have a look at the Tenergy TN141. Perfectly decent 9 volt battery charger, and it does have worldwide voltage support, so you can use this in different countries and regions. That concludes my updated top picks for battery chargers. I will put the links down below. It will help support the channel if you use those off of Amazon, and that is appreciated. If you've got any questions or you would like to share any of your thoughts with these chargers, do drop a comment down below.